noticed there have been a ton of comments asking what has happened to our dog Mojo. So this brand new dessert place called The Sweet Hand just opened up near us and you get to make your own cupcakes. Now today's a grand opening, so I don't know if it's gonna be a little different than normal, but I thought we would go check it out. And while we're doing that, I'll give you guys my week 22 pregnancy update. Later on in this vlog, I'm gonna be telling you guys all about Mojo and giving you an update on him too. But first, cupcakes and my week 22 pregnancy update. because it's their grand opening they're not doing the actual cupcake decorating any other day you can go in and get like a kit and decorate a cupcake but they were giving out free cupcakes so I think in Layla's world everything's still okay so while we're sitting here snacking on our free cupcake I'll give you guys my pregnancy update right girl mm -hmm. Good. is it good is it yummy mm -hmm. so Layla J so I'm 22 weeks pregnant and Layla Jane has decided that the baby's middle name is going to be Forky, right? Mm -hmm. Have we still decided on Forky as the middle name? Uh -huh. yeah, not really. But we like to joke that it is going to be Forky because that's her favorite right now. So I'm actually getting out my phone right now because I have the Baby Center app. And I want to see kind of what it says for week 22 and see if I'm feeling some of those things. So, okay, so it says at week 22, my baby is the size of a spaghetti squash. That's pretty big. So Layla, the baby right now is about that big. That's pretty big. She should be about 11 inches and 15 ounces. Now we do think I might be a little bit further along than what they originally thought. So my baby might be a little bit bigger than that, but I'm still going by week 22. I have 126 days left of pregnancy. The baby is able to hear sounds faintly. So Layla, if you talk to the baby, to my belly, she might be able to start hearing you soon. You could read her books. Tell her all sorts of things, isn't that cool? So the baby is also starting to spot like the fine hair all over her body, lanugo it's called, um, and has some very deep wrinkles on her skin, but that'll fill up when she starts getting a little bit more fat on her. Increased oil production may cause you to develop acne. Yes, my skin has been awful this whole pregnancy, so I believe it. it says you might start to notice some stretch marks, so that's another fun pregnancy thing. Um, so far, though, not a lot of stretch marks, and I didn't get a lot with Layla either, so knock on wood, hopefully I just won't. But other than that, um, still feeling pretty good. I do have that inguinal hernia, so that um, has been pretty painful, and unfortunately, there's just nothing you can do about that when you're pregnant, except just ice it, stay off it as much as you can. Um, I tried using one of those like belly support bands the other day and I feel like that didn't help much. So that's kind of the only down part of it right now. I feel like I have some more energy um, and definitely have an appetite eating a lot, especially at nighttime. I don't know why. Like I feel like once like four o'clock in the afternoon hits, I'm like a feeding frenzy. I want to eat everything in sight. Okay, so she wants to go back inside. I wonder if we can go buy some cupcakes to take home. So I, I knew that one little cupcake wasn't gonna be, wasn't gonna hit it, cut it. So let's go see if we can buy some. But other than that, that's kind of like how I'm feeling right now at 22 weeks. Still no significant cravings either, except for like sweet stuff. Um, but nothing like specific like I had with Layla. <laughs> They are so sweet. We came back in just to buy some and they saw how much she was like looking at all the cupcakes and they said, you know what? We'll go ahead and let her just make one. So they're setting up a little station just for us. Isn't that so sweet? Oh, honey, I love that. And our day's only halfway over. 
We still got more fun things happening today. That was so cute and the people couldn't be nicer in there. That was so much fun and of course I had to buy some to go with too so Brian can have, have some of these cupcakes and I want to try all the different flavors. All right, so no, we did not get a new dog. This is our one of our friend's dog. They have a little puppy. His name is Bentley and he's a Bernadoodle. And uh, they're trying to get him used to being with other people so they can leave him more. So we are dog sitting for the afternoon. Um, but that brings me to the question that everybody has been asking and that is what happened to Mojo. So Mojo, as many of you all know, was our little Golden Door puppy. We got him when we first moved to Nashville. And then when we found out we were moving back, um, we knew we were going to be, have to be renting someplace. And we looked high and low trying to find a place that would accept a dog, especially a dog his size and weight because he's gotten quite big. And we could not find anything. The ones we did find, the prices were just astronomical, just insane. But it was just ridiculous. And it was so competitive. Like if we did find a place, it would be gone. Um, and we were cutting it down to the wire. It was literally a week before we moved back to California that we finally had to just find a place because we were like, we're not gonna have a home. Unfortunately, but it actually ended up working out nicely. Um, someone in Brian's family was in Nashville and they are obsessed with dogs and they had just lost their golden retriever and they said they would love to hold on to Mojo for us. So as hard as it was, we knew um, it would be wonderful for him. These people are amazing. They don't have any kids. Like the dog is their baby. And they actually train dogs too. They love them. They have a boat. They live on a lake. They actually bought Mojo a little captain's hat. Um, he goes everywhere with them. He is getting so much love, so much attention, and is just spoiled rotten. And so now we are in our new house and, um, Obviously, we just can't easily go back to Ohio where he is and get him. And, but at the same time, he is so happy there. Like, he is getting so much attention, more so than we could give him right now with a toddler and a baby coming, that we almost feel guilty wanting to take him back. And the owners just fell in love with him. They send us pictures and video all the time. Um, he is just doing fantastic. So Mojo is doing great. He's doing probably better than he was with us. Um, They're training him. They're loving on him. And like I said, he's still part of our family. When we go to Ohio, we get to see him and we get videos and pictures of him weekly. So I feel like he's still part of our family no matter what. But so that is what's happened to Mojo. And we do not plan on getting another dog anytime soon, especially with the baby coming. But I am hoping to be like the neighborhood dog babysitter because I do need a dog in my life. I love having a dog. So as long as I can watch some dogs, that'll be perfect. Like this little guy. Here you go, Bentley. It's okay, Bentley. See, he's already kind of missing his mom and his sister. It's okay, Bentley. We are big dog people. You'll be totally fine here. Here you go, bud. Brian would get another dog tomorrow if he could. <laughs> he loves having a dog. I am more wanting just, like I said, to dog sit and be able to give them back, especially with a baby coming. It's gonna be so chaotic, so busy, um, that I just can't even imagine having a dog right now. So whenever we get a dog, I would love to have any dog that has a doodle at the end of it. I am so not into the hair anymore, like vacuuming constantly all the time, especially with two kids. I am not gonna to wanna to be doing that. So a dog that doesn't shed will be perfect for our family eventually. <laughs> Here's a question for gardeners out there. We have a bunch of succulents in our new house. I don't know anything about succulents. I heard you do need to water them a few times, not that often. So I was thinking like once a month, is that too much, too little? I don't know, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on them. I guess I need to do some research. But if you know anything about succulents, outdoor succulents, and how often they need to be watered, let me know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Doing great. Well, Bentley just left, and I think we have one tired little girl who ran after the puppy trying to keep up a little bit too long. Maybe we do need to get a puppy. Kind of help wear her out some, huh? I don't know. <laughs> 
But we have one more fun thing we're doing tonight. We're gonna go get pizza as a family. And one of our favorite pizza places for the whole month of February is doing heart-shaped pizzas. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And Layla is very excited about that. So we're gonna end our day there. And pizza just sounds delicious. I don't know, for some reason, this pregnancy, even though, like I said earlier, I'm not craving one specific thing, I just feel like I crave junk food constantly. Like, we always have crumble cookies in the house, cupcakes now, I want pizza, I want french fries. I like seriously have to like be careful and not overindulge because I would every single day. That's just what I want right now. Ah, but, oh well. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to mention too about my week 22 that I completely forgot to mention, um, that's a big one, is I have now felt the baby kick. It took a while and is not very strong, um, but I was sitting here the other day and I was like, oh, that was definitely a kick. You know, sometimes you're not really sure that's a kick, it's indigestion. And my last ultrasound, the doctor said my placenta's on top, so it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to feel the kicks. Um, but I'm almost positive I'm feeling them now, every now and then, so that's really exciting. It kind of makes it feel a little bit more real. And it's just super exciting. So happy about that and had to report that. All right, everyone. Well, now you know what's happened to our sweet mojo. But he is in good hands, and we love him, miss him, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.